Hey guys, so normally I don't do videos this late, and normally there's a different background, but I have a cold, so I've been kind of chilling, and I was super busy today. So, this week we're talking about description and setting as a character. And first off with description, I don't like to get too detailed unless the scene actually calls for it. Like, if it's important to describe the background and where the characters currently are, then yeah, I'll write that into the scene. But otherwise, I tend not to. Because sometimes it's not important where the characters could be sitting at a diner or if they're at a cafe. It's not that big of a deal if it's not important to the plot. But if it is, and it's a major point and a pivotal moment in the story, then I'll definitely describe what's going on around them and perhaps more in detail on what they're doing. But that's pretty much how I see descriptions. And as I stated earlier about characters, especially in the earlier video, I don't describe characters, so description won't find too much in terms of characters and sometimes the setting. I actually tend to see the setting in my head more like a movie trailer, so I try and describe that to the best of my ability, but otherwise it's not always easy to take the exact description that I think of in my head and putting it to words. Because that's never easy. Some days I just wish I could download everything into my head and perhaps write the next great American novel, but we all know that won't be happening anytime soon. We're not in the future. And so seeing setting as a character is always interesting in story because you can have it set the tone and the mood of a specific scene. So for example, my very first novel in National Novel Writing Month was actually set mostly in the desert. So when one of the characters was angry, most particularly the protagonist, there would be a snow, a not a snowstorm, that would be weird, there would actually be a sandstorm. And it would reflect the scene very well and also add to the stress of the moment, most particularly if, because it was a war story, that it would add to the anxiety she was feeling and having to try and control so much, but have so little control over the overall situation of the war and the weather and everything. So another way is for something more somber or sad a major cliche for setting the tone is rain and living in Seattle it's pretty easy for me to at least describe rain because we get a lot of it and we're now in the major rainy season so we'll be seeing a lot of that and oftentimes that type of description sometimes has a way of creeping its way into my novels because I see a lot of it but the nice thing about setting is it really can and does have its own personality that can affect the story and, like I said earlier, affect the events that the characters are in because they don't just have to be, you know, in a war or in a place where it's sunny and everything appears happy. Yeah, they could be in a place where everything appears happy, but that would be too utopian and wouldn't feel right. But by using the setting to add more depth to the world and really reflect the mood of perhaps not only the author, but the characters and the dire situation they could perhaps be in, it's really a way to overall encompass everything about that moment or that particular scene. So it's currently 
Monday, November 14th. So we are well into our month of National Novel Writing Month. And at this point in time, I'm at 28,000 words. And I do roughly pretty close to 2,000 words a day. I'm much more used to doing four or five when I actually set a legitimate word goal for myself, like greater than 50,000. So this is actually one of the first years I haven't done that. But it's going well, and I'm liking paying very close attention to pace. I've actually just started getting into the more meat of the novel, so that's nice. And at this point in time, my greatest jumps in my word count actually come on days when I go to write-ins, because we compete for prizes at the one at Panera that I attend on Thursdays, and then the one at Tully's I run. We don't really do write-ins, it's more of a good place to just go and discuss writing and just to be around other people and to get out of our basic environment. So last week I got the opportunity to win a two gigabyte flash drive, which is pretty awesome. I'm used to winning ducks or dollar store items because we're all writers, we're poor, can't really expect us to afford much, especially for a group of perhaps close to 30. So I hope everyone is doing well. And enjoying National Novel Writing Month, even if you're struggling. I hope it's still fun, and you're enjoying writing your novels. Don't forget to be awesome, and have a great week.